Hey everybody, I figured I would hop on here and make a video for you guys about doing these cutting mats. Um, let's see, it's really big so I'm zoomed in so you can see, but you get the point. These are the Dollar Tree chopping mats. You get two in a pack. And they are 11 by 14 inches. So, I have created SVGs for eight different files. Um, they are available on my Etsy page. And I'm going to show you how I use them real quick. So, I'm going to go to my files. I'm going to pick one. Let's do, uh, let's do the one with the clocks. Here it is over here. It's just called Time Mat. I save it. Insert it. Large image may take a moment. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So this is what we get. Now, to put it on a tracing mat, this is what we're going to do. First, I'm going to go over to Shapes. I might click on the square. Sorry, my design space has been very slow lately for some reason. There we go. Okay. So, since the cutting mats are 11 by 14... I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to change the width to 11 inches and the height to 14 inches. And I'm going to right click and send it to the back. And move it up to the corner if it will move. <laughs> Almost. There we go. Alright. I'll zoom out just a bit. Now I'm going to take my clocks, I'm going to bring them down, now what I do at the top is I put the child's name and I, I put the name on every single mat I make because when kids start school they're going to have to put their name on everything. So I figured why not, it's good practice. So, if you want to do that, you don't have to. I mean, you can center it however you want and just cut it as is. But, I am going to put stuff at the top here. So, I'm going to go to my text. I'm going to put my name is. And then I'm just going to change the font. You can use whatever font you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, I know a lot of people use dotted font or lined font, and that's fine. I just found that my toddler, uh, he likes to draw and trace all the lines if I do that. Or with the dots on the back, he'll sometimes flip the mat over and draw on the back. And then you can't get the marker out of the little dots, which is really annoying. So, just any font will do. Put my name is, and then I'll put, I know, time. Just something cute. My text is having issues. There it is. Okay. I'll put that up here. And then, kid's name here. Now you can set this up however you want. Normally what I will do is I will try to get these on the same line. But you can always take the font and make it smaller. So I can take this one. Make it smaller. This one. It does that. Okay. 
Come on. Move. Alright, so this text box thing is getting in my way and it's really annoying. So, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to select everything and move it down. Just so we don't have that getting in the way. Now, I'll select it all, align, center horizontally. Now, all right, with these words right here, the only thing I really care about is where the kid's name goes. Because the my name is and the I know time are going to be done in final. This, where the kid's name goes, is going to be cut into the mat, so they trace it. So I want to make sure I have that in a good spot. Again, you can change the font to whatever you want. Like, uh, I'm going to make it a little different than the other font, so that'll work. Again, you can resize this and make it however you want to. Move that over there. Line it up like so. Alright. And we'll move this here. Alright. So, this one and this one. I'm going to select both. I'm going to change the color. Just so these will go on a different mat. The, these two, again, are going to be vinyl. Everything else is going to be cut. Now. If you want to make sure that the kid's name stays where you want it to, this is what you need to do. You need to select the SVG down here, and you need to also select the name and make sure you attach them. My attach is very slow. It's very annoying. <laughs> By doing this, we're going to keep all of this together. Where the name goes, where the clocks go, and they're not going to move on us. Now, these other ones that are cutting in vinyl, they, again, they don't have to be attached or anything because they're not, they don't have to stay in these specific positions. Now, if it would just load. Um. I don't know, my attach has been taking forever lately. So let me go over here. And this is the time one, and let me find that for you. There we go. Uh, I'm getting everything all messed up here. There we go. Okay. So. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take it off the key ring real quick. All this thing takes forever to attach, so I can show you. Alright. So this is what we're doing. So at the top, my name, then you get the kid's name, I can tell time, whatever. So when I first did this, this is my test one, I forgot to weld these together. So it cut weird, but I have fixed that on the SVG, so that should not be a problem. <laughs> so you've got three at the top here that are examples of time. And then down here, there are six other clocks that you can use. So you draw your own lines and the kid can write the time here. Is it done attaching yet? It is not. It's taking forever. It's a low. Um, also, what I did with all my mats is I punched a hole in them all. And I found these key rings at the Dollar Tree. So that way they 
can all stay together. Because my son likes to lose these. He, he likes to put them all over the house. So I figured I'm going to try to keep them together as much as possible. Oops. Alright, thing. Come on. I'm just going to pause it and wait for it to attach. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I got it all attached finally. So this is all one piece now. And you can move it wherever. At this point it doesn't matter. Now we're just going to take this square that we made. And we're going to hide that. We don't need that anymore. Now we're going to go to make it. So, we are going to be cutting on the back of the mat. It's kind of hard to see, I know, because of the black. But we are going to mirror this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to make it white just so you can see it better. Alright, that should be a little bit better now. You can see it. Um, so, since we're cutting on the back, we need to mirror this image. There we go. And now we have to keep in mind that our mat that we're cutting on is 11 by 14. If I cut it the way that it is now, it ends at the 10 mark over here. Down here, it's just past the 13. So before we cut at all, we have to move this and try to eyeball it, center it in that area. That's a very important step. Don't forget that or else you might have things getting sliced off. Now you notice this is just the clocks and the name because this is what we're cutting. Now, on our second mat, this is going to be our vinyl. This is also going to go on the back of the mat. So, this one also needs to be mirrored. Now, it's hard to see. My lighting in here sucks. But there's my words. All backwards. Um, so if I go to continue. No, I'm doing a video. So I need to connect my maker. I didn't have it turned on. So hold on a second. <laughs> And I will show you the settings I use. Alright, so for our first mat that we're cutting is the one with the clock on it. I'm going to do the craft board setting. And I'm just going to use default pressure. You can go ahead and cut this. Then, when you get to your second mat, you're going to want to come up and change this to your vinyl. Make sure you change it, or else you're going to be cutting into your mat, and you don't want to do that. That is pretty much it. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Thanks.